let's face the facts. If it weren't the home of the Krabby Patty, nobody would be crazy enough to eat here. Hey everyone, Keyblade Makai writer Nathan here, and today I will be discussing the top 10 reasons why the Krusty Krab should be put set, should be shut down. Starting with number 10, the danger of Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties lean more towards a an, an addictive drug than a fast food hamburger. I'm not kidding. Stay as far away from them as at all costs. They're super fattening. As shown in the episode, Just One Bite, Squidward eats a shitload of Krabby Patties, causing him to literally go right down to his thighs and then, kaboom, he explodes. On the opposite side of the spectrum, as shown in Pat No Pay, without, it having, without a Krabby Patty for an extended period of time, you will suffer from Krabby Patty withdrawals, where the symptoms include painful stomach cramps until you eat a patty. Number 9. Mr. Krabs Exploiting Patrick Star Patrick Star has been a regular at the Krusty Krab for years, and he has even wor and will do anything to get a patty, even if it means working. However, he has been he has gotten a job there got job there a couple times, but it doesn't last very long. In the episode No Hat for Pat, Patrick gets a job. Starting a spinner and later gets his own Krusty Crew hat, which makes him top heavy and causes him to constantly fall flat on his face, which actually entertains the customers. Krabs decides to take this to the extreme by having Patrick fall into a bucket of spiny sea urchins. However, it all backfires and the customers take their money back by force. Patrick gets fired yet again, which begs the question, if Mr. Krabs would actually do that much damage to his employees, who else besides SpongeBob would work for such a miserly crustacean? Number 8. Stealing money from its customers and employees. It's bad enough that Mr. Krabs steals money from his customers, but from his own employees, too. He pays his employees next to nothing and even docks to pay for the most bullcrap reasons, such as breathing, standing, and even existing, just to raise profits. He even pays SpongeBob and Patrick to let them keep their jobs, even though Mr. Krabs would be completely lost without his so called Golden Boys. Number 7 Mandatory, mandatory Patronage. The Krabs Crustaceous Penny Pinching owner has a very strict set of rules for it to read, such as it's mandatory to order a side of fries. Napkins and refills cost extra, and there's no freebies for anybody, royalty or not. In fact, according to Mr. Krabs, all money brought into the Krusty Krab must be spent. Even people who aren't hungry are dragged in against their will and or forced to order food. Sure, there's a money back guarantee, but it's so minuscule it's impossible to read. He even has customers empty their wallets completely before exiting the restaurant. Number 6. Krabby Land Okay. So, kids like to play outside, right? In the episode Krabby Land, Mr. Crown is being a dangerous playground out of junk due to his penny pinching, and it's so dangerous that a kid who attempted to go down a slide got hurt. He avoids being sued by having them sign coloring books, which are actually liability waivers, and promises to bring in the mascot Krabby the Clown, and even goes as far as to dress up as the mascot himself. Ah, cheapskate. Here's a comparison between Krabby the Clown and a real clown. A real clown would wear makeup, have a rainbow colored afro wig, colored clothes and shoes, and can tell jokes, hurl pies at people, and make balloon animals while bouncing on a ball. Krabby the Clown is a cheaply designed clown, and where Krabs wears a spotted tie and a tomato painted blue to be his nose. Number 5 Animal Cruelty. In the episode Jellyfish Hunter, Mr. Krabs notices that people actually like SpongeBob's new Krabby Patty with Jellyfish Jelly and has him hunt every jellyfish in jellyfish fields. But little does the little square buddy know, I know, Krabs is actually secret, is secretly running a jellyfish sweatshop and where he stretches, squeezes, and juices the poor creatures, and possibly even kills them. SpongeBob is able to stop the madness and, get, and Krabs gets a heaping helping of karma. Number 4. Reselling Old Food. In one episode, Born Again Crabs, SpongeBob finds an old, moldy, and gross Krabby Patty under the grill and chucks it in the garbage. But Krabs has an alternative, and that's to reheat it and resell it. As a result, no customers came because of that gross patty. This isn't the only time he's resold old food. In the episode The Krusty Sponge, Mr. Krabs starts selling spongy patties, which causes the customers to become sick to their stomachs, y'all, and spongy. And in For Here to, or To Go, he even has Spongebob so Krabby Patties with bunts up and flush down the toilet. Ugh. Number 3. Overworked and Underpaid Employees. 
And if you're looking for a job in the fast food industry, look elsewhere. Because working at the Krusty Krab is a greasy nightmare to say the least. Krabs not only works his employees to the bone, but also refuses them to give them raises in their paychecks. And he makes them work hour after hours too. In the episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty, Krabs has Spongebob and Squidward work 20 hour shifts without any rest or anything, until they are literally driven insane. Number 2. Numerous health violations. Yeah, the Krusty Krab is a fucking pigsty. While it has a certain rustic charm to it, sanitary conditions are leaving a lot to be desired. It's usually pretty freaking grimy there, with the walls oozing green slime and there's always the risk of a fungus outbreak and food poisoning. One of the Krusty Krab's most disgusting moments was when Krabs is having Spongebob serve the customers excessive reefs greased in one of plankton, causing the customers to become sick, lethargic, and addicted to the, f and addicted to the food. Krabs' gross negligence and inability to clean up his act would have resulted in him losing the Krusty Krab until Spongebob came along to save the day. Number 1. The Nasty Patty Incident A health inspector comes to inspect the Krusty Krab, and Mr. Krabs learns of a criminal passing himself up off as a health inspector in order to obtain a free meal. So Krabs forces Spongebob to make a disgusting Krabby Patty with the following ingredients. Volcano sauce, seahorse radish, coat toenail cl clippings, toilet rat water after dropping it down in the bowl, and it was dried off in an old gym sock. <coughs> Nasty. He thought he ate a patty, the patty, when it was actually a fly going into his mouth causing him to choke. When they find out that the real culprit has been arrested, they freak out at first because they thought he, they actually killed the real health inspector, and yet, the Krusty Krab still passes the health inspection. One reason why I'd rather work at either Freddy Fazbear's Pizza or the Chum Bucket. If it were up to the Better Business Bureau, or of course, the Bikini Bottom Bogus Business Bureau, the Krusty Krab would be shut down, Mr. Krabs would serve a life sentence in prison, and SpongeBob and Squidward would have to find another w line of work. Next time I will be discussing the top 10 reasons why Lois Griffin should file for the divorce against Peter Griffin. This is Keyblade Mackay writer Nathan, signing off.